think that the season's gone extremely well so far. We've really built on the success we made last season. We're an extremely close-knit group of individuals. We enjoy working hard for each other. We enjoy competing with each other, but we also enjoy working together as a team. Coach has really instilled a culture of mental and physical toughness, so that's something we've been trying to build on. We've definitely been working a lot harder, playing a lot tougher teams, so the competition's been a little stronger, but we've definitely been rising to the challenge and making sure that we put in the time on and off the court to make sure we get a job done. Our team gets along really well and we respect each other a lot. I think it's sometimes hard on a squash team where we play challenge matches against each other every week and we get really into them and everyone really wants to win, but we want the best person playing in each spot and I think we respect each other enough that no one really gets upset if they lose. They're excited for their teammate to play a higher spot. Probably the part that I appreciate the most of squash is that I get to be in my own head, but I also get to be a part of a great team, especially the Dickinson team who root me on and cheer for me and tell me like what I can't see for myself while I'm playing. The mental and tactical side of squash is huge, and it's very much a sport where you have to change on the fly. You can't always do one thing because people start to catch on. The other mental side of the game is just how hard you can push yourself. You generally do see one person mentally or physically hit a little bit of a breaking point and the good players tend to see that in their opponent and really turn it up a level at the right time. You see that the tougher opponents in the close matches tend to come out on top more often. As a team, we've all been working on um, being patient, make the points last as long as we can. As a player, you need to understand the player you're playing really well. It's not just about you're hitting the ball and running and trying to catch the ball. It's, it's knowing the, the weaknesses and the strength points of the other player. Our biggest thing this year is just being hungry for the win every single time. We definitely are playing teams this year that we thought our first year we could never beat. And so I think this year we're going into it with these teams kind of counting us out. And we definitely know that we can win and we put in the work. So we just mentally need to be there and stick with it throughout the whole game because they think that we've just come in to lose and we know that we can definitely beat them. It's been a quick progression and we've had to make some quick changes so our first year we started out playing a lot of club teams that have little organization, not quite as competitive. By year two we had to amp it up a little bit and we played some better teams so we had to take our training more seriously, we had to institute a little bit of different uh, policies and procedures in the way we handle things both on and off the court. Now in year three I can say that we're training as hard as a lot of top 10, top 15, top 20 programs in the country and I think that's a reason why we are competing at that level now and fighting for positions in the top 20. The players have bought into it and are working at that level and it's, it's, gotten, it's gotten us to that point where we're, we're on the brink.